Hi, third grade, and welcome back to week four of your green grammar book. Today, we are going to review the answers to the Tuesday section. Here we go. Number one, identify if the nouns are regular or irregular, then rewrite them in the plural form. Well, for life, if I wanted to say the plural for life, I would have to say lives. Since we had to change the F to a V, this noun is irregular. We can't just add an S to the end of life and say lifes. That's not correct grammar. Let's look at the next one, shelf. Same kind of thing, it ends with that F. So to make it plural, we have to use the plural noun shelves, again with a V E S. And since we had to not just add an S to shelf, this is also an irregular noun. Number two says complete the sentence. Explain what you think the underlined abstract noun means. It takes courage to. I decided to write it takes courage to stand up for what is right. Courage means the ability to do something that is difficult or scary. Courage is an abstract noun again because it is a thing. Courage is a thing. However, you can't touch courage, you can't see courage. That's why it is an abstract noun. Number three, identify if the verbs are regular or irregular, then rewrite them in the past tense form. Build is a verb, it's something that you do but it's currently in the present tense. If we wanna talk about the past and say last year I, we don't say builded a tower, we would have to use the verb built. And since we don't simply add an ed to the end, this is an irregular verb. So make sure you mark an X on the I for irregular. The next verb is tame. Tame is simply tamed in the past tense form, so that verb is regular. Number four, choose the correct verb tense for the sentence. Label the correct verb tense as either past, present, or future. Let's blank to the pool now. That keyword at the end, now, tells me that this is in the present tense. So let's take a look at the verbs. Let's go to the pool now. Let's went to the pool now. Let's will go to the pool now. Hopefully you can see pretty easily that the verb that makes the most sense in that situation is go, the present tense. Number five, choose the pronoun that agrees with the antecedent of the sentence. The boy looked for him family in the crowd or the boy looked for his family in the crowd. We definitely need the pronoun his in this case. It makes the most sense. Thanks for joining me on Tuesday. I will see you back tomorrow to go over the Wednesday section. Have a great day.